Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, so I'm just going to do a very quick video showing you how I pack ceramics. I've had a few requests for this video so I thought I would do it. So let's first get on and show you what you will need. So obviously first thing you'll need is an item to package, in this case it's this ceramic plate there. It is actually uh, going to be going in this box which is pretty much uh, far too big for it but ah well. So obviously the second item you're going to need is a box and you can see there's some sort of uh, newspaper or dunnage in there as well. So you will need some newspaper, dunnage, that sort of stuff. Um, you will then need some bubble wrap. I use big bubble wrap. Um, I just like it. Um, obviously there will be links to a lot of this stuff in the description. I don't think I've got any big bubble wrap link in the description so I might need to put that in there at some point. Um, but yeah, so I use big bubble wrap, however you can just use the small stuff, you're just going to obviously have to wrap it around the item a lot more to give it more protection. We've got some more uh, void fill there in the form of some newspaper. We've got a Stanley knife which are really really good, I highly recommend you get one of those. Uh, and then I've got a tape gun, you don't need a tape gun, you can just use tape. But obviously a tape gun speeds up the process a little bit. We've got some more cardboard, sort of just random uh, cardboard there um, that has been cut down at some point. Um, and that'll just go kind of round the walls of the box just to give it an added layer of protection. And that's about it. That's all you should need really. I don't think there's anything else you should need. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the packaging process. So first off, what I do is obviously just uh, wrap the item in some bubble wrap. So that's what I'm going to do now, and then I will show you when it's done. So as you can see, I've now gone around the item several times with the big bubble wrap, and then I've applied some tape. The tape hasn't been applied very well. I was having a little bit of trouble with the tape gun, so it's come out a little bit messy. But it doesn't matter how it looks, it just matters whether it's secure. You can see that it's put, I've put quite a lot on here. It's quite well protected. The back might be a little bit less protected, but you can see you can you can hardly see the item in there. So it is it's got a nice bit of a cushion. But obviously this is just the first layer of protection we're going to add. So essentially now, obviously I've got the box here. The good thing is I've actually already got some void fill in the box. Now generally what I do is layer the box with some big bubble wrap. However, I got this void fill for free, um, and it seems pretty. It seems pretty um, strong in there, pretty bouncy as well, that's always good. So what I'm going to do now is just literally put the item inside it. Now, this is where it's going to be a bit annoying because if we put the item inside it, you can see the item, it, it is a little bit big, this box, to be honest. It's not so bad now it's wrapped, but it's, it's a little bit tighter in the box, but it still is a little bit too big. Um, so what we're going to need to do in this situation is obviously... As I normally would do, put the cardboard around the outside and then really, really pack it in with void fill. And then what I'll do is cut down the box and then fold it over once I've got a good layer of void fill on top to stop any movement and stop, uh, you know, if, if there's any pressure on the box because there's void fill on top, it's not going to break the item. So, yeah, key with, you know, big box situations is plenty of void fill in there so there's no movement in the box. But if it was a smaller box, you wouldn't need to do as much void fill. But I would always say with ceramics, try and put an extra layer round the outside of the box. Or if you've got two pieces of ceramics, put a divider in the middle. That's always a good uh, good one as well. So, yeah, I'm just going to get on and fill this box up with a bit of void fill. Pack it tightly. And then I will come back to you in a minute. So, I'm just starting to pad it out with... Uh, newspaper obviously in there now also something to note is that uh, obviously newspaper you can get for free uh, there are certain supermarkets and stuff that give out free newspapers or have them on a little stand so always try and use as much free void fill as you can so that then you're saving on expense with the big bubble wrap so essentially what I'm going to do is just um, keep filling this up with newspaper for a little bit and then I'm going to put more of a layer of bubble wrap on top and I might even do um, a large layer of cardboard on top before I cut the sides over to actually fold the box in uh, on itself. So yeah, I'm just going to continue with that and then I will come back to you. So I've just filled the box in with some uh, more newspaper and now I've put a layer of, bu layer of bubble wrap on there. So essentially I've got somewhere, I've got these here. So what I'm going to do is just have a fiddle about and see which ones will fit in and maybe how they'll fit in and stuff. So that one needs a bit of a cutting down maybe. Um, but we can see that those two will probably go in there. So what I'll do 
is maybe do something like that. I'll do something like that and then obviously I'll cut that one down, put it in that little space and then with the Stanley knife I can cut down the sides of the box. Uh, and these have got box indentations in so that's always helpful as well. So I'll cut down the sides of the box, fold it in, get another layer of tape over the top and then we are simply done. So it's not too hard. Generally all I would say with ceramics is you know, these sort of cardboard, plenty of this cardboard in there because this is nice, it adds strength to the box. Plenty of bubble and plenty of free void fill as well. That's the tips for ceramics essentially. Right, so there we go, bit of a Frankenstein job, but I've uh, just put those uh, last two pieces of cardboard on there and now I will cut the box down. Right, so there we go, that's it packed. Obviously, as you can see it on the table there, it was a far too big box for the item. And I would suggest that if you uh, can get a better fit box for the item, then that's what you should do. But also, uh, try not to cut down the box. So, try not to cut down the sides of the box like I did there, because I always feel that when you cut down the box and fold it in on itself, it adds a little bit of extra pressure to the item inside. So, obviously, it's best not to cut down the box, but in this example, obviously, I've had to, because otherwise, I would just have to be pouring unlimited amounts of newspaper in there to even be able to close the box up as it was at its uh, other height. But as you can see here, I just wanted to finally mention, I've just done a H seal on each side of the box. So this is where you basically just uh, take the tape gun and then go over this side here and then fold it, put a little flap in there, put a little flap in there and then fold the, the excess down. And then it just makes it a little bit more secure on the ends there. So as you can see, I've done that on both of the ends. It's quite simple, it's not too hard. I'll actually show you very quickly what I mean because I didn't describe it very well there. But essentially you just go handed. There we go. So now what you've got here, I just fold that there. What you've got here is a little flap there that you can then fold in. I and mean, if I just do that at the other side it's not very good because that side of the box isn't very good but then you just fold it down and fold it down this side. It's quite hard doing this one-handed. And then uh, you just basically stick it down like that. It just helps secure each side of the box as well. And I've just gone over a few times uh, where the flap was on the box, obviously. So yeah, that's essentially it. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the packaging links down below if you need any packaging or anything like that. And I will see you in the next one. So I'll see you very soon, guys.